So the ending to Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 kind of felt like a 180. When we first freed Poppy at the beginning of the game, they seemed very helpful and kind. But as the chapter progresses and we get to the end of the game, when we free them again, they feel cold and distant and kind of harsh. They immediately check to make sure Mommy Longlegs is dead, they say good, and we move on to the train. And when we get on that train and we start riding down the path, we almost feel like we're betrayed. There's like a sense of betrayal because you were lured into this false sense of doing something, but in reality, you're kind of being used and the way that Poppy talks makes you feel like she just leveraged you. But the crazy thing is, before launch, this scene wasn't always like that. And in the debug version, or the alpha version, or beta version, or whatever you want to call it, of Poppy Playtime, Chapter 2, there's a different ending. And quite honestly, the way it's framed is interesting in how it affects the story. So when Mob Games was pushing updates through Steam, honestly, for myself, when I was going through the game, I was constantly worried because the game was always updating. I was worried I was gonna lose my progress or my saves were gonna get corrupted. But one of the times while I was updating and it queued a very, very long update up, I decided to just go into the actual game, the EXE file on my computer. I double clicked it and that's when I saw, huh, this is weird. There's a chapter select screen on the title screen. And I was thinking like, oh, maybe this happened because I booted up the game mid-update and I caused some weird debug thing to be active. Well, it turns out, no. It turns out there's actually a debug version of the game actually in the Steam games files. And you can boot it up. And there's lots of weird stuff in this. And at some point, I'll probably cover different things in this. But the most interesting thing to me was the end of the game. When you get in that train, Poppy says things that are entirely different. This is what she says. Against all odds, you defeated Mommy, and you freed me once again. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I cannot let you leave yet. You have so much potential. I know you came to find the ones who had disappeared all those years ago. But they're gone. They've been gone for a long time. Terrible things have happened. And I am the cause. Being able to exist as a doll, it has killed so many people. So much is unknown to you. Where do I even begin? But you can fix everything. I see it inside you. This train is now heading towards Playcare. It's the best place to start looking. And hearing this, it has a completely different feeling than the chapter two that we got. For one, Poppy sounds kind and understanding. Even though she needs our help, I don't get the same sense from her that I get in the normal ending. But when she says terrible things has happened, a phrase we've heard time and time again, she says, I am the cause. Being able to exist as a doll, it has killed so many people. I know you came to find the ones who had disappeared all those years ago, but they're gone. They've been gone for a long time. This is all really, really important information. And we don't know whether this is non-canon now, or if they realized, oh wait, we're giving away too much of the story in chapter two, let's take some of this and move it to chapter three. Because now we know our character has a personal attachment to the people here besides just being a worker. Sure, they got a tape in the mail. Sure, they got a letter. But the reason they came is for the people. The people that are gone, who disappeared a long, long time ago. And we know that Ludwig lost his daughter and that there's aspects of that that play into the plot. And a lot of times it makes us think that Poppy is the daughter, right? Because Poppy as a doll has killed so many people verifies that a lot of these experiments were just for her. All this crazy stuff that happened, Poppy was basically the end result. Or at least hypothetically in this branch of the timeline before this stuff was scrapped. But it doesn't mean it's scrapped for good. This stuff could come back and I'm really curious how it's gonna affect chapter three. But I'm really curious to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments below, so please share them. I'm looking forward to reading all of them. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.